Hello everyone, Pally Tum here with TGN.TV. I just wanted to really quickly remind everyone that The Wolf Among Us is a story-driven game that changes based on our choices. So if you missed any of the earlier episodes, please be sure to click on the screen right now to go back to the full playlist. That's a that's one way to start a game. So this is the business office. What are you blind? Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I don't, I don't have, have time for this. <laughs> yeah, you and all the rest of them in there. Fucker. He seems nice. We should be his friend. This is a big room. Yes, I see. I, I... You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? No it one's to blame. Fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. It is a kebab Where crane. is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Don't you talk to Snow White like that. Do she you didn't job, do anything Sheriff. wrong. Well, we'll find someone who can. Don't say anything. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... <laughs> Never mind. Smoke away. What was the wine about? Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Is this from the Wizard of Oz? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> He's cute. Hello. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I'm doing great. Oh. Fuck, why would you tell him to fuck off? I'm fine, thank you. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. I like him. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. <gasps> The mirror. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. You know, whenever I think about the magic mirror, I always think about Shrek now instead of Snow White. But here we go.
Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from <laughs> kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Um, um... All of them, actually. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. The woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Let's try the woodsman again. Show me the woodsman. He's throwing up on the street because he drank too much. I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. All right, thank you, Mir. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. That was cool. No, oh, Big B! Or his name was... Well, I'm was sure that we'll my get name? Now I'm confused. Okay. Thank you. Bigby was my name. What was his name? I want to pet one of him. It should tell me his name if I mouse over him, right? We're going to go back to that thing over there, but no, it's the Book of Fables. I want to see what's in this lamp because that could be interesting. If the big blue genie comes out, I'm, I'm going to lose it. Worth a try. It was worth a try. <gasps> it's a rhino head! Okay, carrying on. Everyone knows that rhino's the best tank. And if you don't know what I'm referring to, then your life has not been fulfilled yet. I guess it comes in all forms. Can we flip over more cards? Strength, the tower, and... This supposed to mean? Mm, doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. All right, let's make our way over to the right side of the room and inspect the books. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. That's him. <laughs> hmm. Me. I'm Snow pretty White. sure that's supposed to be me. The dwarves. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. They look pissed off. Look at that. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and happier days. And her man, Beast funny. There's Colin! Colin and his brothers. Oh. There's the woodsman. My buddy. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. So that's Red Riding Hood, obviously. The two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. 
Hmm. Mr. Toad. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Ichabod Crane and the Headless Horseman? Ichabod Crane. Scared shit. <laughs> What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Well, all that leaves us with is whoever this is. Don't recognize that one. Seen this before. Oh, is this it the same symbol on the ring? Clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the other books then. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Okay. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Buffkin. That's mm, his name, Buffkin. An exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Do we inspect all of these? Or is it only one per page? Okay. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. So, remember that the prostitute was killed, or presumably killed, with a magic weapon. So, that might be worth remembering. What's it say about that? It says... Brickle bit in an older elvish hand. What's brickle bit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. <laughs> he was serious? <laughs> this is cool. What's that? It reads Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. I don't think I can turn left anymore, and I don't see anything else to inspect. Oh, hello. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairlairo? I'll go look it up. Alairlairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh. His daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Oh. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Well, we can't rule him out, but we have to notify him. No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. I 
I didn't realize Snow White had her own desk here. The Director of Operations Assistant. And Ichabod Crane, the Director of Operations. Interesting. Uh, we can go back to the mirror now and probably learn a little bit more about her now that we know her name. And we can investigate the card that we picked up. Interesting. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Alright. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, Abel, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable <laughs> do you wish to know? That's pretty close. Uh, we need to know about Faith's father. Show me Faith's father, the old king. He is dead on a battlefield yes, with his ring. Off the suspect list. With his ring still attached to his finger, notably. Prince, Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Uh, looks... What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show us face. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Well, that's what she kept saying to us back on the alley. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. All right. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Yeah, yeah. What do you want? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! All right, what we need to get over there. Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. I don't want Toad to wait. He sounded like he was in Whenever trouble. Whenever you're ready. Oh, shit. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad could be in trouble. But there's a bloody dagger. On Lawrence's apartment. Let's go to Toad's. Let's go to Toad's. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. I don't know if that was the right thing to do or not, but it's... But it's what we're doing. 